Hey, I'm here at El Brito Grill, uh, one of my favorite Mexican places in Long Beach. We're gonna learn today how to make some of their signature dishes. We got the wet burrito and we got the mixed fajitas plate. I'm gonna get in there and do some cooking myself and we're gonna learn a lot from Jose Diaz, the owner of El Burrito Grill. So we're gonna, we're gonna make the, uh, the wet burrito. Okay. Which is our, our signature burrito. We've been very popular with this burrito. I mean, our, our name, El Burrito Grill. Yeah. So we're making this with carnitas. Yeah. The region where we're from in Mexico, Michoacan, that's what we're known to do, the carnitas. That's why they've been so successful and popular here in all of our locations. That's where your family's from? That's where our family's from, correct. We have our specialty pork, our carnitas. And we keep them in this bag to make sure that they're, uh, they're always moist and they keep their flavor. So this, we're gonna toss it in here in this burrito, all along the burrito. All of that? All of that, this is the quantity. Trust me, Jose just taught me how to do the uh, guac and sour cream, two of the most important ingredients. He said I can't go light on the guac, you gotta go big, is that big enough? That's good. Yeah. Okay. You gotta toss it on there. There you that, go, John. That, oh. oh, almost. That was close, that was that. <laughs> That's a median right there. First time I was being too cautious, I think that's what got me, I think I just gotta do it like a pro here, toss it on there, boom. That's uh, it. Get in here, no problem, boom. <laughs> what I tell you? Yeah, he learned quick. All right, we're gonna try the mixed fajitas plate now. Another specialty here at El Burrito Grill. How long did this location go then? Uh, 2009, so nine years. Nine years? Almost nine years. Ten. Yeah, almost ten. Ten, uh, it'll be ten in March. What brought you to, to Long Beach to start this business? You know what? Um, started coming down to Long Beach, started seeing the potential of, of our food and of the location here, and we wanted to be in Long Beach. So I decided to drive around and drive around and finally found this location, worked out well for us. And then two years after that, 2011, we uh, we opened the one in Parker States, and that one's a busy restaurant as well. Love it. So now you're you got one store here on Carson Carson yeah. Bellflower. The other one's at PCH. Correct. Is there any difference between the two? Well, just in the PCH location, we have a uh, breakfast. Okay. Something that we don't have here. Over there, we have like pancakes and French toast and stuff like that. Oh, really? In addition to this menu. What else? Anything else about the restaurant you want to say? Well, we're, we're happy to be here. Yeah. We're happy to be here. We're happy to have our clientele and our loyal customers. And thank you for supporting us over almost 10 years at this location. And we continue. To, we would like to continue serving you guys for the next 20, 30 years. What's the big plan for the 10 years? A nice big party? Yeah? Yeah, of course, yeah. Nice. I'll let you guys know and uh, <laughs> you'll take care of that stuff. But yeah, oh, yeah. we're gonna do a nice somewhere uh, next, next year, March. Awesome, well I'll be at that party for sure. Absolutely. Thank you so much to Jose for teaching us some things about El Burrito Grill. No, no. Uh, I love it, love the bean and cheese, love the wet burrito. I get this every once in a while when I feel kind of fancy. You know, just a little bit. I'm not that fancy to get stuff like this. But, uh, but I love all the food here. Jose's a great guy, great business. Support El Brito Grill on PCH and on Carson.